Well, actually, as we speak today, we are talking about 40 million people dying of NCDs, non-communicable diseases, including cancer, of course. Um, and 70, and it accounts for 70% of global deaths. And 80% of those are in the developing world. So basically, what has happened prior to 2011, when nobody even talked about NCDs, you know, most of the uh, global work uh, was all about communicable diseases only. So what happened? Many of these countries in the developing world lagged behind. Uh, nobody uh, uh, worked to be to put the foundation to deal with non-communicable diseases, and as a result, as we speak to many countries, just don't have the readiness at all to certainly deal with cancer, if anything. Um, so basically, if we're talking about a child who has ALL leukemia that we all know has 90% chance of a cure in the developed world, that same child in Africa or in another country, in low and middle in income country, will have, if lucky, 10% chance of a cure. When you think of the lives that are at, at stake, um, you know, you're talking about people at the end of the day. Yes, we talk about statistics, we need data and so on, but at the end of the day, it's our mothers, our daughters, our sisters, our neighbors, our friends, and it is time for people to unite. Uh, and this is exactly what this event is all about. The pharma companies have united together to support the City Cancer Challenge, support UICC, and I think they are going to get the best gift of all. They're going to see the impact, their impact, their role into actually and finally uh, saving the lives of thousands of people.